44 health ministers have been tasked to provide solutions to a huge health burden facing the continent, despite its governments committing to making the sector a priority. Under the Abuja Declaration of 2001, African countries pledged to allocate at least 15% of their national budgets to health. Few have managed to consistently meet this commitment in the context of many competing priorities. Financing for health thus remains challenged. We need to further innovate around how we finance health. President Mugabe's government was the first to introduce a tax to fund HIV AIDS programs and is also collecting a 5% levy on mobile airtime for drug procurement. Beyond identifying the most pressing health challenges, this meeting is also an opportunity to take stock of and celebrate the progress the continent has made. The successes include earlier detection and quicker response to disease outbreaks. When Ebola struck the Democratic Republic of the Congo earlier this year, early, early and decisive action ensured that the outbreak was quickly contained. The former Ethiopian health minister, the first African appointee to the influential director general's post, announced a major boost for global health. Last week, I also enjoyed a successful trip to China, which has generously agreed to increase its voluntary contributions to WHO by 50 percent. That windfall could have a massive impact on African citizens, some of whom still lack access to the most basic of health care. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe.